Hello guys, this is Asharam and in this video I'll discuss the problem C of Code Forces Educational Round 103. So in this problem you had n chains each of length CI or CI vertices, okay? And each of vertices were numbered 1 to CI. Now you arrange n chains like this, that is first chain second chain third chain fourth chain and after after that you unite chains using this so first chain is skipped after that the first vertex of i chain is connected to ai and the last vertex of i chain is connected with bi so now we have to find the longest simple cycle in this resulting graph okay so let's see how we can solve this problem so first thing to note down is ai and bi it doesn't matter uh, it doesn't matter if ai is greater than or ai is less than bi length of longest cycle will always be same because uh, if you connect suppose this is your one two three four and it is some a okay let's say c1 c2 c3 c4 something like that okay now you have connected if it is like this or like this then the cycle length is c1 this part addition adding this part all the vertices in this part plus all the vertices in this part and even if it would have been like this then even then length of cycle would have been number of vertices in this part number of vertices in this part so for example you have one two three four and one two three four so if you have a word you have like this even then the length of cycle is seven and if you have like this then the length of cycle is also seven that is this okay so it is the order of ai and bi it doesn't matter so from now on i'm going to assume that ai is always greater than bi okay this is my assumption so now cycles can be of two pa two types so new page after so cycles can be of two types the so first cycle will always be in first type of cycle first type of cycle so it will be between consecutive chains so ci this is your ci this is your ci plus one and it have some numbers one two till ci and it have numbers one two ci plus one now they are connected something like this and like this so this is not directed this is undirected okay so you have you have a cycle between these two chains okay like this this is your cycle between these two chains okay so this is our first type of cycle second type of cycle will be will be between sub array of chains okay so suppose that you have c1 c2 c3 c4 1 2 3 one two three four they are all they all are connected okay one two one two three so you can have something like this is like this and then you have something like so the cycle these are the connections okay so you can have a cycle like this okay do you get it yeah so you can have a cycle like this so we have to find the maximum length of cycle so either it is this cycle or either it is this cycle so okay and so finding the maximum length of this cycle is pretty easy you just have to maximize this maximize the um 
सी दैट इज दिस इज ओके मैक्सिमाइज यू हैव टू मैक्सिमाइज सी आई प्लस बी आई माइनस सॉरी ए आई माइनस बी आई प्लस वन बिकॉज दिस इज आर ए आई दिस इज आर बी आई एंड आई हैड एज्यूम दैट ए आई इज ग्रेटर देन बी आई तो देर आर ए आई माइनस बी आई प्लस वन वट इज ए एंड देर आर टोटल ऑफ सी आई प्लस वन ओके सो आई एम काउंटिंग इट इज आई हैव एज्यूम्ड एयर दैट आई एम काउंटिंग द साइकिल बिटवीन सी आई माइनस वन एंड सी आई सो लेंथ ऑफ सिंगल साइकिल बिटवीन दैम विल बी दिस ए आई दिस इज ए आई ओके सो मैक्सिमाइंग मैक्सिमाइजिंग दिस इट इज नॉट अ बिग डील ओके यू कैन डू इट पेट इजीली बाई मेंटेनिंग अ प्रेफिक्स सम ओके नॉट नॉट प्रेफिक्स सम यू कैन डायरेक्टली डू दैट एक्चुअली ओके एंड फॉर दिस सो फॉर दिस देर आर टू थिंग्स यू कैन सी फर्स्ट इज स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द साइकिल सो सपोज दैट वी आर वी आर एट आई एथ पॉइंट ओके दिस इज आई एथ पॉइंट ओके एंड दिस इज आई माइनस वन एथ पॉइंट वी एड सम एंड समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज आर फर्स्ट दिस इज आर सी आई माइनस वन एंड देन वी एड सम लेंथ ऑफ साइकिल So we had maintained this length, okay? We had maintained this length, this part, okay? We had not closed the cycle. This was an incomplete cycle. So we had some incomplete cycle like this. Now there are two choices. We can complete it, okay? We can complete it, and then check whether it is greater than our current answer or not, okay? And accordingly assign this length to our current answer, and we can close it or we can continue doing it we can continue it here also so here it it will be some bi and here it will be some ai and then we can continue it like this so this is our second option so first option is close the cycle second option is keep the cycle okay so now we have to choose the best of them okay we have to choose the best of them so now what happened so if we close the cycle if we close the cycle here then we have to open a new cycle like this new cycle and that will be like this and then we have to continue our journey similarly okay so we'll compare again and means when we go to i plus 1 there will be this similar case okay so now we want our current incomplete cycle to be maximum okay to maximize the total length of the cycle so for that we'll take maximum of these two cases so if we close the cycle then the cycle of current incomplete sorry if we close cycle then the length of our current incomplete cycle will be this that is ai minus bi plus 1 and here are two vertices the plus 2 and if we keep the cycle that is so it had initially some length let's say we have uh, incomplete cycle something like this we have stored it in this variable then length will be incomplete cycle cycle plus this is our bi 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 minus 1 vertices and here we have ci minus ci minus 1 minus ai what is is okay plus so we can just take the maximum of this and continue our journey okay yeah so that's it we have to just take the maximum of these two and repeat this thing from 1 to n and base case of this is clear uh, when we have i equal to 1 so then we have only one thing that is we can open the cycle like this so we have this is okay let me do this in here so suppose we have c1 and it is c0 and then we will have some b1 and a1 so we only have one choice because we can't continue some empty cycle from here okay so we only have this choice that is we start our cycle like this okay and after that when we go to c2 we have to follow this procedure so yeah so time complexity of this will be o n so let's see the code for this solution now so 
code is pretty simple for it i have multi cycle means i have uh, uh, in in this multi cycle i have stored the length of this the um, in the multi cycle i have stored length of second case that is uh, we take sub array of chains to find the cycle okay and then my, my current answer is the uh, so so i am i one th first chain so my current answer is this cycle and after that i start a loop from 2 to n and then i then i maximize my answer accordingly that is according to chain between two according to cycle between two consecutive chains and uh, after that i try to close the cycle that is running okay that is my second case uh, okay yeah and one more thing is suppose that you had in some case ai equal to bi then you can see that this cycle will be closed you can do anything about that so in that case we just have to go with second option that is start the cycle so handle this corner case carefully okay i have handled it here yeah, okay so yeah that's it guys for now i'll try to upload problem c but i wasn't able to solve this d problem in contest due to some minor works but i'll try okay so thank you for watching the video